The next one on the board, our sixth one here, is the Sun Belt Championship game, and that would be between App State and Louisiana. Excuse me. Uh, Billy Napier's last game with the Rage and Cajuns. And the total on this is 53. Is Billy coaching? Yes, he is. Oh, I saw that. That shocks me. Yes, he is. He is coaching this one. He won't coach the bowl game, I believe, but he is coaching in the conference championship game. There, Florida is actually not officially introducing him in a press conference until Sunday. So after after this ball game is done, Louisiana won this one forty one to thirteen earlier in the year. Uh, when I look at this, the the team totals are Louisiana twenty five and a half and App State twenty seven and a half. Of course, App State is favored by three on the road here. Uh, I think Louisiana is going to be able to score. Like they they play to their level of competition and they have done it all season long. Like really, all of Napier's tenure, he has played to the level of competition. Uh, and that just has to do with the amount of talent that's actually on your team, right? Like, they, they don't have enough to out-talent a ton of people, but they are incredibly well-coached, and when they feel threatened, they show up big. I think the over 25.5 for Louisiana is the play for me. Uh, I'm not going to say that App State can't score 27.5. I, surely they can. I mean, but they only put up 13 on them back on October 12th. So I'm, I'm going to take Louisiana to, to score over the 25.5. So I was, I, we're, we're, we think it's going to be a high scoring game then because I like App State over the 27. I think this is going to be a different team. I think it's really, really, really hard to coach and motivate and prepare a team that you're leaving. So, I, I mean, it, it does make sense. I just, I feel like the, the mood around the program is not one of he's a traitor. He left us, right? Like that's that's kind of well, how Notre Dame not, seems. Because if it yeah. was, then he wouldn't be coaching. Yeah, no, they're all incredible. Like the AD and the president have been, you know, sending out Go Gator stuff. They're very excited for him to get the opportunity. Uh, all the videos of the players, you know, congratulating Coach Napier and all that. They they seem very excited about it. I I do wonder about the motivation for this game, but I mean, this is a conference title game at home. Uh, so There's I, I feel also good two about teams it. that have been playing a lot lately that that in conference that don't like each other. Yeah, no, you're not wrong about that because they've both been the top of the heap. Them in Coastal Carolina is it, basically the 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 list of of the great teams in this conference. Yeah, you are correct. You are correct. Uh, App State lost at home to Louisiana on a weeknight game last year. Uh, lost by three. It was like twenty four to twenty one. This year, of course, it was forty one to thirteen. But App State was favored at Louisiana again, another midweek game, and App just got destroyed, just destroyed on the road. So, going to be interesting to see exactly how that one plays out there because I think App is kind of tired of losing to this team. Uh, but we shall see. Yeah, we shall see. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.